Hong Kong rung in the new Chinese lunar calendar as it does every year, in spectacular style. Festivities, food and shoppers filled the streets. The Hong Kong district was as vibrant as ever. But on the very first day of the Year of the Monkey, the celebrations were over. Hong Kong police suddenly moved in to clear illegal street stalls, attracting hundreds of protesters. The demonstrations turned violent, and then an officer fired two warning shots in the air and pointed his pistol at the crowd. A new turning point in the escalating battle between Hong Kong's government and pro-democracy activists. This time, they called it the Fishball Revolution, a spontaneous protest similar to the last time unrest gripped Hong Kong in 2014, when pro-democracy protesters criticized China's control over local elections. Dubbed the Umbrella Revolution, it was a sign of growing discontent over Beijing's grip on the semi-autonomous island. Anger was soon directed at the Hong Kong police for their use of force, which included pepper spraying protesters. Camps were dismantled, but tensions remained, only to surface again this week when street vendors fought eviction. Overnight, around 300 rioters took to the streets and violence erupted, leading to more than 130 people being injured on both sides. Social media users once again criticized an excessive use of force by police. After more than 60 arrests, the streets of Mong Kok are calm again, but the issue remains unresolved. The SAR government strongly condemns such violent acts. The police will apprehend the mobs and bring them to justice. Hong Kong's authorities are determined to clamp down on rioting, fearing instability could hurt the city's economy, reliant on foreign investment and international business. But anti-establishment movements have grown. Students have been protesting against a pro-establishment academic being placed in charge of the University of Hong Kong. A number of outspoken groups are increasingly calling for full independence from China, but Beijing has largely remained silent, saying it's preserving the one country, two system arrangement. Sandra Gatman, The Newsmakers.